Hey everyone, I'm Town of Emerald Isle Commissioner Roy Brownlow. As a lifelong Emerald Isle resident and a coastal management professional of more than 35 years, I'm honored to bring you this announcement. Having grown up with Emerald Isle's natural beauty, my connection to this island runs deep. Today, I'm excited to introduce the Native Plant Initiative for Emerald Isle. This project aims to foster biodiversity, mitigate stormwater and coastal erosion, and create a sustainable coastal habitat. By embracing a native vegetation initiative, we will safeguard our island's ecological integrity, maintain our property values, and help keep the emerald in Emerald Isle. Join me in nurturing our town's heritage as a unique barrier island community. Together, we will preserve what we love about our family beach. Hi, I'm Carol Peoples. I live here on Emerald Isle. I'm a master gardener with the Carteret County Master Gardener Volunteers, and I'm also one of the leaders of the local chapter of the North Carolina Native Plant Society. Today we're going to be talking about the importance of native vegetation and the power of native plants. Our native plants are really our allies in helping us protect our properties. They can help us protect against stormwater problems, erosion, and help us reduce pollution. They also create a beautiful and unique sense of place for our visitors and our residents. In addition, native plants support biodiversity. They're the real workhorses of our ecosystem. Emerald Isle spans approximately 5.6 square miles, a blend of beaches, lush forested areas, and thoughtfully developed spaces. A significant part of its charm lies in the careful preservation of its natural landscapes. Emerald Isle demonstrates its commitment to environmental stewardship through specific regulations, such as the Vegetation Ordinance. This ordinance mandates that at least 35% of native vegetation be retained on developing lots, ensuring that the island's natural beauty and ecological integrity are maintained. What exactly are native plants? These are plants that have grown in an area for thousands of years, adapting to thrive in their specific climate and soil conditions and developing complex and essential relationships with the other plants and animals with which they coexist. Compared to non-native species, native coastal plants offer numerous advantages. While native plants are the stars of our local environment, non-native and invasive species pose a significant challenge. Understanding these plants is key to managing their impact. Non-native plants are those introduced from other regions, either intentionally or accidentally. While many non-natives coexist without issue, some become invasive. Invasive plants like the English ivy, privet, and Eleagnus aggressively outcompete native species disrupting local ecosystems. By understanding and taking action against invasive species, residents of Emerald Isle can protect and preserve the natural beauty and ecological health of our coastal community. Native coastal plants offer numerous advantages over non-native species. They form the backbone of our local ecosystems, supporting a diverse range of butterflies, native bees, birds, and other wildlife. Pollinating insects need native plants to complete their life cycles. By planting native flora, you're not only creating a garden, you're building a sanctuary and habitat for these creatures that are a vital part of the food web. Once established, native plants require less water and need no synthetic fertilizers. Since they have adapted to local conditions, the soil and rainfall typical for the region is appropriate for these plants. Native plants are nature's solution to managing stormwater, storm surge protection, and protecting water quality. Many have deep root systems that act like sponges, absorbing rainfall and reducing surface runoff, thereby preventing erosion and water pollution. Beyond ecological benefits, native plants have a significant impact on community beautification. They provide a natural, ever-changing landscape that reflects the unique character of our region. Embracing native vegetation starts with knowledge. It's important to assess the sunlight, the soil type, and the moisture level of your site. Once you have a grasp on these environmental factors, it will be easy to find plants that integrate into your site. Remember, it's important to have the right plant in the right place. In Emerald Isle, native species like sea oats, American beach grass, and yaupon holly are not only beautiful, but also adapted to the sandy soils and salty air. Take an inventory to learn which native and non-native plants currently exist on your property. There are plant identification apps that can help with this. 
make a plan to remove those plants which are categorized as non-native invasives and known to be harmful to our ecosystem. Allow an area of your property to remain in or return to its natural state. Other than monitoring for and removing non-native species, there is no maintenance needed. An excellent way to learn which native plants will thrive on your site is to visit natural areas near you and observe the trees, shrubs, grasses, and flowers that are growing there. There are also online resources to help you with plant selection. Start small. Add one tree or shrub to your yard or one type of native flower. If you're dealing with dying or dead plants, consider replacing them with native alternatives that thrive in your local conditions. Whether you're replacing a portion of your lawn with native species or adding them to existing garden beds, these simple steps can make a significant difference. The power of native plants is amplified when neighbors come together. Outcomes include less flooding and erosion, cleaner water in our ocean sounds and creeks, increased variety and diversity of wildlife, and pride in the natural beauty which makes our island stand out from other places. Every small action, every individual plant, contributes significantly to the larger environmental picture. In the realm of native vegetation, even the smallest contributions can have a profound collective impact. They create a mosaic of habitats, offering a lifeline to countless species, especially in areas where development has fragmented natural habitats. Moreover, when individual efforts are combined, they foster a shared sense of purpose and community spirit. It's not just about individual gardens anymore. It's about creating a community-wide network of green spaces that support biodiversity and ecological balance. Whether you participate in a local planting day, remove the non-native invasive species from your yard, advocate for the use of native plants in public spaces, or start your own native garden, every action counts. Together, we can make a big difference for our environment and our community. Want to learn more? There are great resources available through the Coastal Landscapes Initiative. Other helpful websites are the NCSU Plant Toolbox, NWF Plant Finder Tool, and the North Carolina Native Plant Society. You can join the local chapter of the North Carolina Native Plant Society, which is called the Central Coastal Plain Chapter. To learn more about native plants, participate in invasive removal events and plant identification hikes, and receive free native seeds and plants at their annual seed and plant swaps. Shopping at local Cooperative Extension Master Gardener plant sales in the spring is a great way to add native plants to your inventory. Visiting Wilmington in the fall for their annual native plant festival is another great way to learn about native plants and get native plants for your garden. You can find a list of nurseries that sell native plants on the CLI website. 